I think one of the problems is, is that um, people think that there's a specific diet for children on the autistic spectrum. And what that kind of implies is that if only children followed that diet, they would no longer be autistic. That's absolutely not true. However, we know that children on the autistic spectrum in lots of different ways can have high levels of anxiety, can struggle to cope in social situations, can have difficulties with sleep. And really what we're looking at is making sure that the diet that the child eats is, is right for the child's brain and is right to put that child in the right frame of mind for good sleep, good mood, good learning, and helping that child to feel more calm and relaxed and less anxious. I think certainly for a significant number of the families that I see, when we've been through the diet and given the family some advice and they've come back some weeks later, often parents have reported quite significant benefits, sometimes in social interaction, sometimes in mood or sleep, quite often in levels of anxiety. But I think in the work that I do with schools, there's something that's really applicable more to the general population. That's really what teachers are very interested in. If they have a class of high school children who are going down the high street at lunchtime, coming back in, and they're finding them very difficult to teach. They know themselves that the, the food choices that, that children make and the foods that they're exposed to often don't create the right, the right conditions for, for good mood and good learning. 